Hello all, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. I appreciate you guys tuning in again today. October is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Yes, this is a very challenging topic. So many people are affected by this issue and so many of us may feel helpless in helping our loved ones in dealing with this issue. So we're gonna cover how to help a loved one or peer experiencing domestic violence. How do you share your concern and support? You wanna start off by approaching the individual respectfully. You also want to listen, but listen without judgment. You have to give the individual the environment and space to be vulnerable, which is a very tall hurdle. The other support that you can give them is making sure to remind them they do not deserve to be hurt and they are not alone in the situation. Many times, domestic violence survivors have an innate ability of compartmentalizing their situation so well that those from the outside have no clue as to how they could be dealing with or enduring domestic violence. Why? It does not only come in the form of physical, it also can come in the form of mental or emotional abuse. So we have to do our due diligence of just being observant of different behavior, and also being observant of different warning signs. If someone is consistently withdrawn when they're in a group setting, it doesn't seem like they can really concentrate when they're in a group environment. Also, if they were somebody that was very social in the past, but now it seems like they don't want to engage in social activities anymore. Do they have very consistent forms of low self-esteem? This is a definitely a telltale warning sign. Um, lastly, are they just all of a sudden missing work events, different engagements. These are all different warning signs for us to pay attention to and can maybe signal something that is happening on a larger scale. We may not be viewed as the safe space or the outlet that the person identifies as the source of support that they need. That's okay, that doesn't mean that we can't help. We want to recommend anonymous support tools. One of the tools they can utilize is the crisis text line. All they have to do is text 741-741 and text HOME. They can also utilize the digital mental health apps like I Prevail um, or even Talkspace. This way, if they don't want to reach out to a licensed clinician while they're at home, they can do it maybe while they're at work, which may be an even safer space for them to be. The more we feel comfortable in helping domestic violence survivors, by doing things like encouraging them to utilize community resources, by listening to them, by reminding them that they are not alone and they have support, the sooner they will reach the resolution and be willing to actually utilize the support tools that are available to them. Thank you guys so much for helping us with this cause. Don't forget that you can also utilize us as a resource at wellnesscoach at transitchicago.com. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please do so at our Live Well, Work Well channel. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you again soon.